All right, guys, welcome back. So let's take a look at how we can incorporate our two behavior traits together. Uh, we have to checking around, and he's doing fine. Now he's just checking around, right? Just looking around, but he cannot really do anything when he, when the AI sees us. It's because there's nothing in the behavior trait guard in the behavior behavior trait checking around. The checking around is just doing this, right? So I'm gonna ask the the checking around to happen when the the AI reaches to the last notice location, right? So after this move to last notice location, maybe wait for three seconds and then start checking around, right? And then update the last check location. Okay. So what I do here is drag out and say run behavior. Okay. This is not run actually yet another behavior tray, so you can specify like a you know sub branch and that's gonna be our BT checking around. Okay. So whenever the AI reaches here it's gonna actually go inside and you can actually double click to go inside and it's gonna go the, do these right and then uh, if this is successful then go back and keep doing that okay all right so now we have this run behavior tray uh, bt checking around incorporated to our bt guard let me save this now back to my ai now i can tell the aic guard to actually run the bt guard okay compile and save this all right cool let's go ahead and play let me turn on the debugging and hit the four button to show the uh perception let me run a little bit okay so the ai heard me over there he's gonna run towards me let me just head away behind the wall and see what happens right and i will just stay there for three seconds and then i will pick a place to look around Right, and then go back to the next patrol point. Okay, uh, the way I'm seeing that is in the uh, if I can really in here somewhere you will see what the AI is doing, what kind of node the AI is doing. But you can also just drag this over here and take a look. Okay, so let's actually do that if that's easier. Okay, go ahead and play again. Just hit the turn on the debugging and then the four button to show the. Uh, the perception, let me run a little bit and then just sneak away behind the wall. Right? And let's see what the AI is doing. He's doing the move to, right? Doing the wait and then doing the uh, check around, right? And then play the montage and then go back to patrolling. Okay, everything seems all well and good. Uh, let, let me try something here on the top. Let me run around. The AI will go towards me here. Let me actually sneak away. Okay. They yeah, will wait and then it's gonna do the move too, right? Look around. You can see that we can really see his him looking around now and he just goes to back to patrolling. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> so that's seems to be all working. Okay. Um so here if you wanted to say okay I kinda wanted to look one position and then do that again. Let's do the look around twice, right? Check around twice, and that's really, really easy to do. You just control W to duplicate that node and just run it again here, right? Anyway, so just to make the debugging more interesting, I can also go find my player character or yeah, this guy, control B to look for the blueprint class. I can go to the camera boom and say, make, let's make the arm length longer, like 2000, and hit OK. Yeah and compile. Now if I go ahead and play, I can rotate my camera angle, then I can see like almost everything here, and that's easier for me to do my debugging. Oh, and I actually have an EQS testing point here. I don't really want that. So let me delete that. Okay. All right, let me do one more play and hit the uh, quotation mark and then the four button. All right, let me start running around. The AI see me, right? And then I'm just gonna go down here. Right, just to want to check how the AI behaves. Let me just run away to the corner. Alright. AI stays there. Find a place to look around. Oh now the AI sees us because he's trying to look actually behind the wall that's actually one of the the, the, the places i kind of want the ai to check right so that's really good actually we go up here and make some noise 
Alright, now let me sneak, sneak away by jumping downwards here. Oh, actually, I kinda made some noise because I actually, when I jump down and my speed is too fast. Oh, yeah, see me again. <laughs> I just want the air to go actually to the high grounds and look around and see what the air does. Let me do it here real quick. Alright, it's cool. The air will stay there, right? And I will try to move to the next petrol point. You can see it's actually not what I'm expecting, right? The AI is now moving to the next petrol point. So let me hit F8 and uh, pause the video and let's see what's going on here. I'll go back a little bit. So AI yeah, was doing this move to the next petrol point. Okay, and it's back again and again. You can see now we have a fail in the run behavior here. Let's go inside and see that the move two actually failed, right? Uh, so that's one thing you always want to check. The move to could fail sometimes. Uh, that could be because the uh, the the EQS gives you the direction that AI cannot really do really go because this one is actually a little bit buggy. This move to also have this acceptable radius. It's now fifty. Uh, you can crack that up if you wanted to to get like to avoid having the AI uh, try to reach really close. Right. Uh, another solution that I discovered on the way or you know found out is that. Uh, if you want the EQS to give you the correct results, you kind of want it to, or uh, you know, a better result, you go to the project settings and then hit this um, navigation mesh and then scroll down. Okay. Or let's just search for that. Uh, search for deviation and you can see vertical deviation from ground composition, change that to 50 or so. Uh, this gonna you know give you a better result while trying to uh, find the proper location. Okay, so those are the tools you can use to try to make the move to work better. Uh, but uh, there could be still chances that the move to will not do the right thing, will fail. But we can actually do this: just drag these guys backwards to here, so they are gonna be run after the update last check location. So that if the, this fails, the AI will not check anymore. Just keep doing these, and everything will be fine. Okay, save this. Okay, now let's go ahead and play. Uh, let me turn on the debugging and for button. Right, and let's run to the top and see if the AI is happy this time. Okay, it's here, right? And the AI is doing checking around, right? This is better this time. Checking around again. Oh, actually, moving to the next picture point. You can see that part. Actually, I could assume that something. Uh, let me pause the video. Uh, pause the logic. You can see now somewhere must have a fail. Okay, if I can go back, you can see this run behavior actually failed again. Right. So yeah. You can see this is okay. This is okay. And this is actually failed. Now what's failed in here? The play montage actually failed. <laughs> so I have no idea why this one failed. And we're playing the montage. I guess someone interrupted this so that it stopped or somehow. But because, oh, actually, it is failed because the success is not checked on. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This, this has to be on, actually. So let me do that. Okay, rookie mistake. So check that out. Uh, sometimes you forget to do that. I just think that the finish execute is there. It's gonna be okay. I have been doing coding actually in C plus plus, and we're doing when we're doing C plus plus, you do have to return a type, and it's really easy to see. But yeah, you cannot sometimes forget it. Okay. Anyway, so that's gonna be a little something. I mean, actually, let's try that just one more time. Right uh, here on the top. Let me try to run away real quick. Jump. All right. So the AI didn't see us. Yeah, we'll try to check around, right? One time. And checking around one more time. Nothing. So go back to patrolling. Okay, cool. So now we are incorporating, we have incorporated our checking around with our AI behavior tray, uh, our original BD guard. Okay. I can see it's getting quite a bit of stuff to do now, right? And we can keep building stuff and make the AI more and more interesting. I have some requirement from the comments. Uh, so some people may want to say, uh, want, want me to try to uh, do a video on 
how the AI will be able to actually jump over obstacles uh, or even climbing ladders, things like that. And we can, we can try to do all these things with uh, something called a, uh, a nav link. It's gonna be somewhere here. So nav link is gonna be something we can do to do a linking. One well, of the problem our AI have is the AI doesn't know how to jump down those those edges. It will just go around to go to the lower ground, and that's not very intelligent, right? So we can we can tell the AI to tell them that there is a way to go through some of the things that the navigation mesh doesn't actually allow in the default setting. Okay, so we can talk about more things like that in in you know uh, next couple of videos. Okay, see you next time.